Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the max amount of money that you can possible as a solo player selling your bunker. Now, as you can see, I'm still waiting for mine to fill up. That's one of the reasons this video is so late today. Other than that, I've been trying to record another video for you guys that you've been asking for, which literally has taken me hours and hours and hours, and I've got nothing yet. Absolutely nothing to show for it, but it's going to be up this week, I promise you. Maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe it'll be too long. I don't know, but anyway, I'm rambling. Back to this video. So anyway, back to the bunker. So so yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I get the max amount of money I can possible um, out of the bunker. It's no rocket science. It's nothing too scary or anything like that. But if you're a solo player, just like people who watch my KO Perico videos, maybe you're a little intimidated by certain things. But once you've done it a few times, you're kind of like, oh, that wasn't too bad. So that's what I'm going to be showing you here today. So I'm just going to wait until that stock gets full, which is probably going to take another hour in all honesty. But don't worry for you guys, it'll be seconds. And then I'll show you my tips and tricks on how I sell a full bunker solo and how I make all my money. As you can see up there, people always ask me, how do you make so much money? Well, you know, I'm going to be honest, the majority of it obviously comes from the KO Perico heist. If you've seen all the videos on my channel, I would like to say I'm pretty decent at the KO Perico heist. Uh, but the, a lot of it also comes from other things like the warehouses and this thing right here, which is uh, the bunker. So anyway, I'm going to wait for this to speed up here a little bit. Well, it's not going to, but I'm going to speed this up for you here a little bit and let's jump into it. Literally... <laughs> I said I'm going to wait for it to jump in here a little bit. I was about to stop recording and just wait. And as luck would have it, it bloody filled up just like that. So let's get over to this PC. Actually, no, scratch that. What we're going to do first is obviously we need to go to the, the, the place that no one talks about, especially on PC. We're going to a public lobby. And what worse time to do it than when I'm doing it right now in the evening... When everyone's off work, everyone's off school, everyone's playing, all the griefers are out. It's probably an awful time to do it. But like I say, I have spent the entire day today, like seven hours trying to get this video and another video for you guys. And I haven't got either because this has took forever to fill up. And the other video is so difficult to do. So I'm sorry this video is so late. Okay, I apologize. Right, so first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, we're in a public lobby right now. And as I say, I wouldn't recommend doing anything in a public lobby, especially when you can see here we have people that are level 6,666. That, to me, is tells me there's hackers in the lobby. You want to move on from that. So let's find another one. All right, so we've got five people in here. I'm going to run on over. And hopefully, by the time I get there, this lobby will fill up. Because when I joined, initially, this lobby only had three people in. So, we got two in, like, two minutes. So, yeah, this is never a good sign. When you see a tank driving around on the map. My days! Another lobby. You know what? In all honesty, though, that tank's probably a good thing. Because it's not going to be able to catch me. I probably should have stayed there. But it wasn't enough people, man. All right, what about this one? It's just me. Oh, it's an invite-only lobby. I'm an idiot. So, if you don't know what I'm trying to do right now, you're wondering. This is a good time for me to explain. So... Essentially, you want to sell in a public lobby to get as much money from the bunker as possible. Now, typically in the middle of the day, I think because there's less people, maybe there's less servers and there's more people in each server. I don't know. <laughs> but you want to get like 20 plus people. 20 is prime because if you can get 20 people in the lobby, you'll get an additional 50% from the sale of your bunker. So we got some people trickling in. I'm going to wait in this lobby because it doesn't look like we have any cheaters in here. I don't see any massive numbers. You know what I mean? So that's my first recommendation for you guys. Make sure when you're trying to sell a bunker, get in a lobby. You want to get like 20 people in there or as many as you feel comfortable with. But make sure there's no weird numbers. Like you don't want people to have like 500 or 1,000 or 6,000 or 555566666. You know what I mean? You want to make sure you get people like this lobby, which seems very even. And then just wait for it to fill up a little bit. And then also check on your mini map or check your map in general. Is there any red people with an X on it? As you can see in this map, there is no people with X's on them. Other than the people that are obviously like CEOs, like this guy. God knows what he's doing down there on the golf course. I'd love to be a fly on the wall in whatever vehicle he's in, see what he's up to. But for the most part, this seems pretty decent. Now, my route here is going to be from my compound here, or from my bunker. We're going to go down here onto the freeway. We're going to go straight down here. And it's going to be selling down here somewhere, right? So I want to make sure there's no weirdos that are going to be blocking my path. And so far, it seems pretty decent. We could also go all the way down here into the airport and be selling it like down here somewhere, which I've done a few times. But 
Either way, I'm going to wait here for a second, see if this lobby fills up a little bit, and I'll come right back to you guys. All right, as you can see, we're at 1920 is the number that we want. So we're going to go ahead and head over to our cell point here. You can see on page two, we don't have any crazies, but you can see right now people are killing people. Oh, someone. Brian killed someone and collected their business battle goods. That's, well, that's technically not like, uh, they're not stealing your goods. They're stealing the business battle stuff. So, hmm, do we risk it for a biscuit? I think so. Why the bloody hell not? Let's do it. One of the things you got to know in this game is you have to take risks, right? If you, if you fear things, you're never going to get the max amount of money for things. You want to make sure that the same with the KO Perico Heist. There's been so many people that have said in my videos, like, hey, you know, I used to just do the easiest fastest way to do the heist but after watching your videos i see you make it seem so easy and it really is you just need to be confident with it so that's what we're doing here you got to be confident that you're going to be able to do it just keep telling yourself we're going to do it so right now you can see we're going to be selling to los santos we have a full bunker and this is how i always sell my bunkers by the way always so we have a full bunker that says if we sell it in los santos we're going to get one million fifty thousand but as you'll see by the end of this video we're going to have a hell of a lot more than that. So before I click sell here, I want to explain this. Because if I end up getting the perfect thing, then I'm not going to have time to explain it. But essentially, when you hit click sell right now, you're going to have... There's going to be a chance that you're going to get so many different sell vehicles. Obviously, the worst is going to be ones where you have like five sell vehicles. Some you get like three. Some you have to go all over the map. The ones we want, and the only ones I do, is when you get two trucks. That's it. Two trucks. That's all I am looking for. That's all I want. If I don't get it, I will literally leave the lobby. You'll lose a very tiny amount of your uh, stock level. But then you just wait 10 minutes. It'll be full again and then try again. So anyway, hopefully we get the two first time. But if we don't, it's fine. Let's see what we get. Confirm. Yes, confirm. Like I said, we just want two trucks. And if we get the two trucks, I'll show you exactly how I do it. If we don't get the two trucks... I'll show you. I'm just going to back out. That's literally all I'm going to do. We're going to back out, wait the 10 minutes until it fills up, and then we go again, baby. All right. So as you can see right here, we have three. And in all honesty, this one's not that bad. But it looks like from on the left-hand side, there may be a hacker in the lobby where all that stuff just popped up. Yeah, we have someone with a level 5,000 all of a sudden. So what I'm going to do is these three are a pain. So we're literally just going to do this. Find new session, public, and that's it. So right now, you can see on the bottom left where my stock is. We've lost a little. And here's the thing. A lot of people are going to be like, this is the worst, awfulest way to do this. I'm just showing you how I do it. You know, obviously, I have a little bit of money. I like to do things the fastest, easiest way possible. And this, to me, just makes my life a little bit easier. We just need, what, 20,000 and we'll be full again, which will take probably about five minutes here. All right, let's try this again. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. That took like 15 minutes. It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But this is just how I do it. You know what I mean? So let's try it again. Let's see if we can get the good mission this time. Our survey says, hell no. All right. All right, this is my last attempt at this. I do see, as you guys can see, there's a level 8,000 in here, which doesn't make me feel too good about myself right now, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and start this up. All right, so 150. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. I also turned on, like, so I could hear... Oh! This okay, is... Need... This is literally it! We've got it, ladies and gentlemen! I was gonna say, I turned on uh, proximity chat. They can't hear me. I haven't pushed to talk. But I was listening to some people, man. My God, I know why people don't have it on. All right, so let me show you how I sell. We are in a full lobby here. Not completely full, but it's got about 22 people in. Uh, so the way I do it, we're gonna... I'm just gonna show you the exact way. Can anyone give me money? No. Uh, <laughs> so, you've got to take risks in this game, right? Because otherwise, you're just going to make less money. You're also going to be scared to do things. And uh, you just got to understand that... Think about it. When you're playing this game and you see someone doing one of these runs, do you go and attack them right away? No, you don't. What do you do? You literally leave them. You assume somebody else is going to do it. So that's what we're doing right now. So we're just going to go straight. We don't even need to kill these guys. We're going to just follow the marker. It's only three miles away. So you may be thinking, why don't you put on, um, you know, ghost mode? So the reason I'm not doing it now is because I like doing ghost mode on my second run. The first run, I like to get a little feel 
for what's going on. You know what I mean? Get off my truck, man. I like to get a little feel for what's going on in the lobby. And as you can see right now, doesn't seem like it's too crazy. Doesn't seem like it's too crazy. And keep in mind, this is evening. I'm doing this in the evening. I would never recommend anyone uh, try doing this in the evening because it is absolutely brutal. Uh, but we're doing it in the evening. And as you can see, we're doing pretty good. So anyway, we need to do a left turn right here. Let's go ahead. We're going to take it nice and slow because I know what's coming up over here. I know what's coming up. You know what's coming up? A bloody railroad track. If you've seen me do this before, you know <laughs> that I've hit a railroad. I've literally been halfway across the track when a train has come during one of these bunker missions. And I'll tell you, that's not a good position to be in because you know what happens? You get absolutely demolished. It's actually coming up, I think, right here. It is. Look at it. Look what's on my left-hand side. A bloody railroad track. And we're going to have to cross it. We're not going to cross it here. We're going to take our time. And I guarantee one's going to spawn here. Because this is always where it happens to me. Well, that's why we take our time, baby. Okay, and then another little swoop right here. And we're golden. Now, like I say, don't always assume everyone in your lobby is out to get you. Because I will tell you right now. When I'm playing this game solo by myself in a public lobby... I always see that it pops up saying like a rival gang or a rival CEO or whatever it is, is uh, transporting goods. You guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, I always get like, I, I never, well, what I'm trying to say is I never focus on it. Like, I don't care. I assume somebody else is up to no good. But me personally, I never even touch it. I'm like, yeah, you go, you know, you do you. I'm not going to chase you down. I'm not going to do anything stupid. All right, hold on. This is another railroad track. Let's try and slowly uh, spin our way around this corner. But yeah, so don't assume that people are all out to get you. This is literally a random lobby for me. And we're able to... Well, our first one, at least, is dropped off. Now we need to do the second one. So now that I've got a feel for the lobby, I see that no one's jumped at me. No one started attacking me. So what we'll do for the second one is we will trigger... The incognito mode, or the ghost mode, as you will. So let's do that right now. Come on, pick it up. Be a little bit quicker than that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go to this CEO abilities buzzard. And it should spawn right next to me. So let's go ahead and grab this. And here we go. So yeah, you can see there's a level 8,000 in here. So that's definitely a hacker. Uh, we had 28 people in here. I don't know how much that is. I'm guessing it's at least 20. So we can get our uh, our big bonus here. But all we're going to do is fly on over back to our loot. And as you can see, our loot, by the way, is visible for every single person in this lobby. Everyone. So everyone can see it, but nobody cares. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Just as you watch my KO Preco videos and you think to yourselves, Hey, you've helped me out so much. I always think that I don't want to do it a certain way because, you know, I'm scared that X, Y, and Z is going to happen. It's the same doing this, even in a public lobby. You think everyone's out to get you. I promise you there is only a handful of bad people. We have a level 8,000 in here, which is definitely a hacker. Let's be honest. And if you're on console, you're living the dream, by the way. You're living the dream. Every PC player wishes they could play in a console lobby uh, in GTA <laughs> Online. But uh, it's just the way it is. And as you saw, it took me about three attempts to get this. And you're also probably thinking, oh, well, you're losing 20 grand every time you reset. Yes, but I can also just take that little truck that's sitting inside the bunker and drop that off. And that's going to pay me what I've lost by doing this anyway. So am I really losing money? I think I'm going to make a lot more money doing this and making sure I get what I want, doing it in a full public lobby. Then I'll lose by doing it, like resetting it. You know what I mean? So anyway, there's two people over there I can see on my mini map. So I want to land here as fast as possible, get in this thing, and then go in incognito mode so I can get out of here as fast as possible. So let's land this very dramatically. Get out of it. Where are you getting out? On the wrong side. Of course you are, you stupid idiot. All right, come on. You can run faster than that. I believe in you. I believe in you. All right, let's get on in. So what we're going to do now is go to CEO abilities. Okay, why aren't... Why? What? Why? Why did that not pick you up? You know what I mean? Okay, so CEO abilities. 
We're going to go to abilities. And then we're going to go to ghost org. And then boom. Ghost org. That's cost me 10k. But it's fine. If you're in GTA Online, you will know that it doesn't matter if you're in ghost org or not. Because hackers will always see you. They will always see you. I've done this so many times that a lot of people only attack you when you go in ghost org you can see there's a guy coming towards me right now i'm hoping he's not going to see me to be completely honest with you so we're just going to slowly come down here i think he's going to drive past he's drove there's two of them okay they just blew up so i don't know what the hell i don't know what happened there but they just blew up well people will attack you if you go into ghost org just so they can be like hey I can see you. <laughs> they literally do it on purpose. I'm telling you. Anyway, we got three minutes on the ghost dog. That will more than enough get us to where we need to be. Um, and as you have saw from me in this lobby or in this video, I haven't exactly like... I've literally just jumped from lobby to lobby to lobby. It's not been anything too spectacular. You know what I mean? So just trust yourself. Trust your abilities. Trust the fact that nobody realistically is coming out for you there can be some bad apples so i don't want to make it seem like oh anyone can do this because you could jump into a lobby where someone is literally you have the worst luck and they literally come right after you but right now since i'm in ghost org nobody should know where i am literally nobody should be able to see me on the map the only people that will see me on the map right now is obviously hackers which unfortunately for pc that's that's it's something you have to deal with but uh, we're only one and a quarter miles away. So I'm going to try and take my time here a little bit. Just because, as I've said a million times before, these bloody train tracks, they get me every time. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Let's cross the train tracks. We did it! I think I need a round of applause and a like just for that. If you've seen some of my older videos when I've done this, I don't even know if I have that many videos of me doing this on the channel. But uh, I have definitely been caught on the tracks. Ooh, that was a wet turn. Of course, when I'm doing this, it's raining, by the way. You guys know how much I hate the rain. I can actually see someone on my minimap that's fairly close to me. But like I say, I'm in ghost org, so I assume they don't know where I am unless they're hacking. But we have less than a mile to go. So I'm going to hope and pray that we can get to this last 0.3 miles here. The rain is not doing me any favors. I'll tell you that much for free. Spinning around and skidding all over the place is not doing me any favors. All right, we'll slowly take this corner and slowly take this corner. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're basically here. And that is how I make money solo other than doing KO Perico. People think that's all I do. Nah, I do other things as well. The other thing I haven't showed you is my warehouses. My warehouses are my gold dust. They are absolutely gold dust, I promise you. If you want to see a video on how to do warehouses, I can show you how to do warehouses like nobody, man. <laughs> like nobody. Anyway, there you go. 1.3. That's not even that much. It should have been like 1.8. Why was it 1.3? What happened? Did everyone leave the lobby before I freaking sold it? How many people's in here? Why won't it show me? It literally won't let me select the map. 13 people. That's why we started off with like 26. And by the time I got to the end point, everyone had bloody buggered off. Anyway, you should get around 1.8 million for that. But unfortunately for me, everyone buggered off halfway through. And we're stuck with... Go away, Agent 14. We're stuck with just 13 people in the lobby. But there's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm um, just showing you how I sell bunkers. Obviously, I would have wanted a little bit more money, but it is what it is. Um, the video I'm working on right now, I'm going to be honest with you. It has taken me so long to record. I've attempted... This is the first KO Perico video I've attempted like five, six times. Usually, I jump in, record it, I'm done. This one has taken me a long time to record. I've attempted it so many times and failed so many times. So you know it's going to be a good one. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.